Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Oh, it's been a little while, but I'm back with another video. Actually, I think I'm gonna do, uh. I think I'm gonna do two videos this weekend and post them together just to make up for lost time. Let's see. I believe this was our, uh last stage the next stage rather uh, let's do that 47 Diana here brilliant our client is most satisfied but is still in a hurry to stop the last two generals before they get close to the truth we've received information that one of the generals general Mikhail Badachenko is interrogating people in the basement of the military facilities just off Nevsky prospect the video was recorded by a security cam almost two days ago, so we have to hurry. Somewhere in the multi-level maze of corridors, you will find your target. Make sure the prisoner being interrogated escapes unscathed. Your equipment is in the supply yard near a crate marked FCK, just behind the main entrance. Security is beefed up because of rumors of an impending assassination attempt on the general. So, once you've completed your mission, there's only one way out. Blast your way through a wall out into the sewers and return to the subway. We've located the only place where the walls are thin enough. It's marked on your map. Keep it clean, 47. Alright, so this mission coming up is a lot more exciting than the last mission we did. Um, there's only really one right way to do it. Let's check out the additional files. Alright. There's two clones smoking cigarettes. That guy on the left is smoking it like it's a joint or something. Whoa. Huh. There is no smoking in the halls. What the fuck are you doing? I wonder if that's the guy we gotta save, or if that's just some guy he was torturing. Because, uh, Mr. Eyepatch here kind of strikes me as someone who likes to torture people. Hmm. I wonder where this camera is. It's weird. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's look at the photo. Alright, so here's the guy we gotta kill. Alright, and map. Alright, so, uh... I'm not going to bore you too much with the details here, but uh, uh, we start around here, I think. We head up here, and then, uh, hmm, I think the, 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 the wall is over here somewhere that we blow our way through, but uh, we'll be seeing all that as we go along with uh, the stuff. So one thing I notice is that uh, if you continue a mission uh, in the story mode without loading it up individually, they don't give you this screen usually. Um, so let's see here. We actually don't really need anything. We don't even really need the anesthetic. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it just like that. Whoever that guy getting his ass kicked in that very brief loading screen didn't look like he was doing too good. So uh, I guess we ought to uh, save him, right? Yeah. So, uh, no, we're not spending a long time trekking around the sewers like we did last time. We don't want to pop out of the sewer just yet because this guy likes to turn around and catch us in the act. There we go. Now, uh... I used to anesthet anesthetic this guy, but uh, what would happen is he would wake up before I could complete the mission. And since we're going to be spending pretty much the whole mission dressed as a soldier, or the whole mission dressed as a soldier, uh, having him running around blabbing his mouth about somebody knocking him out and taking his clothes isn't in our best interest. So let's drop him over here. And take his clothes. There we go. So this first area here is chock full of guards. Kind of surprised how many p 
people they got on the play the payroll here. Now, uh, I guess if you wanted to sneak um, through that sewer, that manhole right there, you'd have to wait for this guy to answer the phone. I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that. Um, I'm not really sure if there's a way to sneak through this whole mission without grabbing a suit. There's a lot of stuff to pick up here. There we go, and bomb remote. Let's take a quick look at what we picked up here. We got a silenced pistol, which, uh, to be honest, is a lot more useful in this game than the silver balls are. We got binoculars, night vision. Both of these things are pretty much useless. We got a bomb remote and a bomb. Like, uh, like Diana mentioned before, we got to use a bomb to blow our way through to the exit once we're done doing what we need to do. We also got here a pager and a cell phone. You can tell this game was made in 2002 because, I mean, <laughs> do they even make pages anymore? I don't... Anyway, uh, you'll see what that's for later. For now, we want to uh, jump in this truck here. That'll take us to the next area we need to go. Now, keep in mind, there's more than one way to get there. We can sneak through the sewers, and you want to tuck behind these boxes here as quick as you can, because otherwise, those two guards standing on the other side of the truck will see you. And... But, uh, anyway, right, you can sneak through the sewers to this next area, but honestly, it's a lot, it's a lot easier and quicker just to jump in the back of this truck. Now, we're almost there. I'm going to take another left here. Got some graphical glitches. Alright. Oh. Fortunately, those guys don't turn around. Alright, so... One thing I've noticed about Hitman 2... You know, I thought before... You pretty much had to sneak around to everyone, even with your outfit. But the truth is, if you haven't killed anyone, I mean, well, if you haven't left any dead bodies lying around, and you haven't let off any unsilenced shots, all the guards are pretty mellow. And you can even get in their face sometimes, and they won't, they won't freak out and start shooting you. The one thing you can't do is run. You know, it kind of reminds me of the pool side, you know what I mean? When you're in the pool, it's summertime, it's really hot. You're trying to cool off the city pool. And, uh, you better not run, because they will kick you out. This guy turns around and looks at me, but he's not going to kick up a fuss. Now, over here on our right is the elevator down to the next floor. But, uh, we can't go in there yet, because we don't really qualify. We don't have the, uh... The credentials, so to speak. So, what we need to do is go in here, and, uh, why look, a two-star soldier man just got his uniform back from the dry cleaners. Not really sure where they get a dry cleaner way out here, wherever this is. Hold on a second. What the? Hmm. Yeah, not really sure where that is, but, well, whatever. Um... Ooh, got a deagle. Nice. Got to remember to reload this bad boy. I remember one time I tried to use it to shoot my way out of a sticky situation, but uh, there was only one bullet in the chamber. So, yeah. I wonder what that particular gun is doing in that, that drawer there. Did the officer just buy a Desert Eagle? Maybe he's like a gun enthusiast. Wanted to feel like a big man. Drop a thousand dollars US. I have no clue how much money that would be in Russian. <laughs> to get a Desert Eagle. Just to sit in his... In his... His drawer. 
All right, so we got a bonus save here, but we're not going to need it. All right. So like I said before, I haven't raised any fuss, so we don't have to worry about this jackass on the left uh, freaking out and blowing our cover. We just need to keep our cool and not look him directly in the face. Now, as you can see here, there are cameras. They're glowing green. That means they're on. And we don't have to worry about picking up a videotape like we did back in Blood Money, but we do have to worry about doing anything illegal in front of them, meaning picking locks or killing people. <clears throat> so, before we can progress too far, we need to, uh, need to take care of that situation. Actually, I had, a, I had another idea. Alright, so, there's something marked over here. I'm not sure what's supposed to be there. I've looked, I haven't found anything not going to bother going over there now, because as far as I can tell, there's an empty room with a locked door. I could have gone through that other door, but that means that uh, you have to watch out for this guy. He tends to blow your cover. Actually, I think that guy has an outfit we could use. Of course, the problem with that is that uh, you need to take out another guy. Um... You could kill him, but then I think that would prevent you from getting Silent Assassin, if that's what you're trying to do. Um, and even if you do kill... Even if you do knock him out, he might wake up. And the camera might catch you. So, that goes back to what we're doing right now. Gotta take care of the camera situation. I couldn't go through the other door over here, because... Uh, the, the guards would not like that. They would not like that one bit. All right, so uh, here's a computer from 1972, it looks like. There we go. I guess the Russians really are behind the times. They don't, they don't have the, the money to pay for new computers. <laughs> okay, so now that the cameras are off, we don't have to worry about... Uh, well... I don't have to worry about this camera uh, ratting me out to the guys in the other room as I pick this lock. And my map trick isn't working. Oh well. Okay, so this outfit we have on now got us this far, but uh, we need to put on some more airs. There we go. Nice hat. It's nice and flat. It's like one polygon. Okay. Now we're looking even snazzier. And the guards will be even less suspicious of us. Let's walk our way down here. <laughs> Man, that jacket's pretty much like a dress, huh? It's very long. It gets very cold in Russia, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really much of a globetrotter myself. I guess I should start seeing the world before I get too old and fat. Uh, but uh, there's so many video games. There we go. So this is going to be our exit. Uh, did a. I guess no one put in a work order to get that to get that wall repaired. Well, that's good for us because that means we can blow our way through it. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, you think that guard that goes patrolling in this room would see it, right, and pick it up? That was a that was kind of a big problem in Blood Money. It, an NPC would find something lying around and pick it up and stuff it in a jacket and take it to Lost and Found. Well, that's not something we got to worry about in Hitman 2. All right. Um, I wonder is my is my commentary keeping you guys from falling asleep? I know I said this is a more exciting stage. The problem is mm -hmm. there's a lot of long hallways and you can't run because then they will freak the fuck out. Oh. Yeah, that's right, you motherfucker. You better salute. Alright. Alright. Okay, we're almost there, folks. Almost there.
So, uh... What's the deal with sub-basements, huh? What's what's the point of a sub-basement? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm obviously, this is kind of a military facility, so... I mean, you know, it kind of makes sense for them to have a sub-basement if they want to have a super-secret torture lair, but... What about normal buildings, huh? Alright, so there's our target. Looks like the same guy that was being tortured in the video. Oh, he's smacking him around. Although, didn't really look like his heart was in it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was kind of a lazy smack. Oh, wow, he gave him a closed fist that time. Alright, so, there's, uh, there's two ways to do this. Hold on a second. <laughs> that looks more like, uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? So anyway, the pager here is a good distraction. I'm going to drop this in the corner here. And I'm going to take out my cell phone, which... Miraculously, still gets a connection down here, which is good for us. There we go. And take out my fiber wire. And hope nothing goes wrong, like it did last time I played the stage. Oh, shit. No, no. What the fuck? Oh, what a load of... What? He's dead? What? Uh, how did... What? Uh, oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> you, you guys saw that, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not going crazy. I strangled that guy and... <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to play through the whole damn stage again. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the other way to kill him. It's a less neat way. It's it's a way that'll probably detract from Silent Assassin, but it is interesting and exciting. So, I'll see you guys in a second, which for me will be about 10 minutes. Hey guys, I'm back and ready to try again. Yeah, he's still in there. And it's very colorful underwear. Not really sure why what happened happened. I think it had something to do with uh, the general guy getting stuck in the corner or something, so he was still able to get off his... Hold on a second. Huh. Never mind. I thought I heard a door open. Um, right. He managed to get off his, his execution animation. Uh, you know, kind of like uh, how I was choking the, the delivery boy in the first stage, but he still managed to run me over. That kind of thing. Alright, hopefully this fucking asshole here won't fuck with me. Why is he even standing in the end of the hall like that? I mean, seriously, what is that guy guarding? What are his orders exactly? Does he really seriously get orders just to... Alright, so... Like any interrogation uh, room... There's a... Uh, one-way mirror. Alright. Alright, you bastard. Oh, fuck! 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 What the f- Seriously? I can't believe that didn't work. Okay. Um, shit. Huh. Huh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. The humanity. The humanity. Alright. <laughs> I fucked that up. Um, right, so... If I wasn't a... Seriously? Door's locked, huh? Okay. If I wasn't a... If it wasn't for the glass that... Alright, fuck it. It was my fault. I'll own it. 
47? Is, is that really you? I can't believe it's really you. Oh, Likewise. hey. Thought I'd seen the last of you back in Romania. It's Agent Smith. You were pretty messed up back then. Yeah, I know. I owe you big time. Let me know if I can help you with anything. You name it. Start by putting your pants on. Okay, okay. Hey, I know how we can get out of here really fast. I stole a key card from a drunk guard. Pretty clever, huh? Not bad. I can use this. Not bad. I can use this. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's get this here. Um. Ah, uh, you fucking prick. I'll shoot you in your other eye. Ah, uh, there. How do you like that, huh? Yeah. Boom. What? Huh. <laughs> you, hey, you looking at my dress, General? You fucking pervert. Alright, so. Oh, combat knife. Nice. Um, right. That could have gone better. It would have gone better if I wasn't such a fucking idiot. But, um, I, you guys get the picture. You, you take him out, and then you quietly leave. I don't have much health left. I can only hope that, uh, the boys upstairs didn't really hear that firefight going on. Alright. So. Uh-oh. What? That's not possible. I killed everyone. I killed everyone down there. Come on. <laughs> uh, he doesn't want. He doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to answer that. He just wants to read his fucking book. Kind of reminds me of me. I know every once in a while they'll take me off my normal job and uh, make me answer the phone, while the phone person does some other errand. I don't really like it too much, but I do like to get. I do get to read, so there's that. Speaking of which, um, my most current job, there's a lot of downtime, and I've actually become quite the reader because of it. Hold on a second. Okay, don't want to go in there. Um, interestingly enough, these guards don't really seem. Well, no, you, you, don't, you don't need to worry about me. You don't, you don't need to worry about me. Um, right, these guards don't seem to be at all perturbed by Agent Smith walking around on his own volition. Although I suppose uh, Agent Smith probably came here under... I don't know. I mean, that, that's like an American uniform, right? I guess. Um, so, I mean, he probably came there claiming to be a guest or something, right? Okay, so once we... Once we once we let off this bomb here, we gotta make a run for it. Because they will come for us. Okay. Alright, this way. Come on. Alright. We can do this. I don't have much health left. So if they fucking shoot me, then, uh... Yeah. Alright, let's go through here. We don't gotta worry about Agent Smith. He's a good runner. Alright. Let's go here. Come on, hurry the fuck up. Okay, good. Oh shit, it's locked. What are you gonna do now? There we go. Alright, I won't get past that. The fuck? <laughs> and then he wipes his hand. Button man? What? Because he pushed people's buttons, I guess, right? It's kind of a odd, an odd, an uh, odd rating, I guess. Hmm, kind of a messy mission, but uh, pretty interesting. Um, so I guess if you want to do that smoothly and quietly and efficiently, you can do it the way I did it, but don't fuck up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next level right now, but I'm gonna cut this video off. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you then. Uh, someone just saw me. Oh god! Oh, now they both saw me. Danny is dead. Oh, here he comes. I want you to remove the picture. Uh, sure, I understand perfectly. What do you think will happen? I was just leaving. I'll be free now. Or you'll be dead. Oh, now let me speak to Danny. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Come on, stupid. Danny's gone.
Oscar Whale had huh? money? What the? You have to be so hostile. Let me introduce you to my friends. Hey, 